Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. My name, if you don't know me, is Martin. I work as a delivery driver in Devon, working with uh, Just Eat, Deliveroo, Uber Eats, and also I have an account with Stuart. Uh, Stuart has the uh, contracts for Tesco, Co-op, um, and stuff like that, to do like the wash deliveries and things. Um, so today, I want to speak to you guys about... Um, the new HMR change, HMRC sorry, changes that are coming in. So, what is actually happening? So, from the January the 1st, all the delivery companies and other side hustles like eBay and Etsy and Vinted and stuff like that, but importantly for us, the, the, uh, the apps like Uber, Deliveroo, Just Eat, Stuart, um, what they are going to do is they are going to be... Uh, told by HMRC that they have to declare our gross earnings to them. So when we first signed up with these apps, they, if you don't remember, they did ask for our national insurance number and they will use your national insurance number to uh, link to the HMRC to inform them of what earnings, what gross earnings, obviously they can't report our expenses because um, they don't know what they are but they will report all our gross earnings to the HMRC. Now I don't know importantly whether that's going to be backdated so they're going to be able to look at our accounts uh, for the last five ten years or whether it's just going to be from January the 1st that they share the information from that date. So why is it they actually want this? What is it that the HMRC are actually looking for? Well, to be fair, it's pretty simple. Uh, they're looking for people that are not registered as self-employed um, and therefore not paying tax. Uh, but also looking at everything I can see online, they're also looking for people that are under declaring their income. So they might be saying I've earned 20 grand uh, when they've only earned 10 or etc. Um, obviously, if you're um, if you are registered self-employed and you do your end of year tax return, um, what they're looking for, I think, is to basically make sure that the gross amount that you're declaring tallies up and is the same as what Deliveroo, Stuart, Just Eat are declaring as well. Another thing I think they might be trying to do, I haven't seen this online, but just using my powers of deduction, that I think they might be trying to do by doing this is uh, to try and stop some of the um people that don't have right to work working um because if you think about it at the moment um anybody who's renting an account doesn't actually um there's no they've got no way of knowing that they that there's money going through them basically so yeah but how does that affect renting and substitutions um well to a certain extent if you're renting to somebody and you have no idea who they are, it kind of ends renting, I think, to be fair, because, I mean, um, unless you've got, like, copies of their paperwork, because you think about it, if you're renting an account or using a substitute, in theory, you're meant to do all of the checks that Deliveroo, Uber and Just Eat do. So you're meant to check their right to work in the UK, have a copy of their passport and store their their information in a way which complies with GDPR. Um, so passport, right to work in the UK. Um, but also you should make sure that they're DBS checked. Um, all that sort of stuff. So um, effectively, if you, you know, the HMRC think that this money is going to you. So when they come to you with a big bill says, you earned forty thousand pounds this year when actually you only got like I don't know whatever it is for renting an account three thousand for the year. Um, at that point, what are you going to say if you're renting an account? Oh, I rented an account to somebody that I don't know, um, and you don't know whether they've declared that earnings or not. At the end of the day, the HMRC are going to see it. I think quite simply, if you've not registered a self-employed and you've not put them down as an expense and you can't evidence that they are an expense um, you're gonna be stuck with that bill and you know if this person's earned 40 grand over an elongated, 
elongated period, you're going to be paying 20% of that 40 grand. Um, well, 20% after the 12,500 pound thing. So it's like, a, I mean, I made a video about a year ago about tax and how like really you should declare because the HMRC do catch up with people. Um, when I used to DJ, somebody I know, he um, didn't declare his tax for best part of 15, 20 years. And then he got lumbered with a massive bill, like humongous. Um, but yeah, I do think that they're going to use this as a way to try and um, stop some of this illegal working that's going on. I mean, I'm not here to say it's good or bad or whatever, but I do think that they are going to try and do that. Because at the end of the day, if you can't account for where that money's gone, they're just going to send you a bill. And if you say, I've rented my account to this person... They're going to investigate that person. If they don't have right to work in the UK and you've given them an income illegally, I dread to think what the consequence of that might be. So, yeah. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think this is going to change the thing? I know they've only got 24 people uh, and they're only like investing like 60 million to uh, to actually set this up. But I imagine most of it's probably automated. Um, and for anybody that's not declaring and claiming benefits, um, I don't think what might happen. I, I think you can go to jail for that. So, yeah, big changes. Um, so make sure if you've got a substitute, make sure you're, they're definitely declaring. That's what I would say. Um, I personally don't have any of that. And if you're renting, I would definitely think twice about renting an account. But what do you think? I don't know.